working, but I want to start it up and see for the first time with you guys how powerful this thing is. So, let's turn it on. Oh, wow. What's up, guys? It's here with Prolific Breed. The weekend is here, which means I got some time to work on the Red Sea Reefer again. Uh, the past couple of weeks here in California, we've been getting a lot of rain and it usually lands on the weekends, which I don't mind because it provides me with more time to stay indoors and work with the tank. This week we're gonna work with the wave makers and plugging up everything. Let me show you what I'm working with. Now, these are the two wave makers that I'm going with. Um, they're both made by j -Bao. It's a China, Chinese company. Um, this one's the CP90. And this one right here is very small. It's a SW4. I originally picked these two up to put into the Red Sea Reefer because I was having issues with um, flow. But I resolved that by putting in um, high doors, Corollas. Um, I'll leave a link in the description, but I have a controller for those two wave makers and it kind of randomized everything. But what I like about these two pumps is it already comes with a controller. You don't have to buy it separately or anything like that. With the controller, you can control how, um, how much power is coming through and you can kind of randomize the flow. But yeah, um, with the previous video, I kind of already did an open box just to take the power supply and the controllers off to put onto the control board. If you missed that video, I'll leave a link up in the description, up in the description and up in the corner right here, right now, so you can check it out. But here's a semi-open box, I guess. What's left inside is just the wave maker. This is so small. It's in the palm of my hands right here, but in the reviews that I have read, they said it's very powerful that um, when it's in the lagoon, they have to set it at the lowest power mode. So I'm gonna place this up top for flow and for this one right here, I'm gonna place like midway in the tank because I'm thinking about just going bare bottom for the Red Sea and having a bunch of rocks inside. So hopefully this is powerful enough to push up all of the detritus into the overflow so I don't have to do much maintenance with the tank. This is a CP90 and here's the wave maker itself. Sorry, I'm doing this one-handed. But what's nice about the wave makers is um, you can position it inside with magnets. It's not held on with suction cups or anything like that. But yeah, the bracket clips on and it's two pieces and it's a magnet. So let me get to it and get it in the tank and everything so I can show you guys. So I'm prepping this um, CP90 right now. And I noticed that you can change the direction on either side. So you could point it up or down by twisting the, the wave maker itself. So I guess it will work out. I'll point one towards the glass and one up to just randomize the flow. We'll see how it goes. Here's the wave maker so far. I just threw it in. I need to tidy up the wires and everything, but I want to start it up and see for the first time with you guys how powerful this thing is. So, let's turn it on. Oh wow. It's really blowing the water up. Um, see the controller. Looks like it's at max. But let me see what's going on here. So right now I got both wave makers plugged in and they're turned on. I didn't really read the instructions, but it looks like each of the wave makers, this one controlling the CP90 and this one controlling the SW4, they both have um, wave modes 
which is right here H, W1, W2, w, uh, and C. And I did not read the instructions, but they have it right here. <laughs> These pictures. So you can see H is just constant. W1 is just, it looks like off, on, off, on. W2 is like a ramp, which it never turns off. It's just low to high, low to high. And C looks like some crazy um, random configuration. Over here they have the same thing, but I see L's up here. I don't know what that's all about, but I'll read in the directions and see what's up. But from what I'm looking right here, I'll either keep it under C for um, that random chart right there, or I'll go with W2, because it looks like it's ramping up and down. I just want it um, randomized. So, right now, I have both under W2, so you can see how everything's flowing. My tank is very dirty. I filled it up with tap water and left it for a couple of weeks. And there's a lot of particulates and like dog hair in there and stuff like that. But I have one of the sides here turned down pointing it to the glass, hopefully to blow up the detritus into the sump. And I have one pointing up to um, create surface agitation. And over here on the other side, I have the smaller wave maker in the corner, just to help out. But yeah, I'm gonna keep my tank bare bottom because I had a bad experience with um, sand and freshwater tanks getting planaria and stuff like that and for the lagoon when i had sand i started getting a bunch of bristle worms it's just a lot of work to siphon everything out i'm gonna keep it bare bottom and we'll see how it goes from there but right now it's at w2 i'm gonna turn it to um h so it's like a constant blast so you guys can see how powerful it is so right here has mode. I'm gonna press mode until this light goes to H. Over here, same thing. The smaller pump is pretty loud with the constant mode on. It's just like blasting. You can see right there. You can see everything moving within. Okay, let's let's see how um, W1 looks. Yeah, you can see W1. It's just turning on and off. a burst here it looks constant but I can't tell it's W2 W1 Yeah, what I like about this this wave maker is that um, I can have one pointed towards the glass and one pointing up, just to move the detritus up towards the the overflow. I might have to get another one for the other side, but who knows? Well, there you have it. I just wanted to do a short video on the wave makers that I selected for the Red Sea Reefer 350. Now the SW4, the smaller one on the left hand side, it was about $40 to $45. The one right here, the CP90, 
uh, which I like a lot because of the flexibility of adjusting either side of the wave maker. It was about 80 to 90 dollars. I bought this a long time ago, um, probably last summer, with intentions of using it in the Red Sea, no not the Red Sea, the Lagoon 25, but I never got around to it. But since I picked up this tank, I don't want to buy new wave makers, I just repurposed these two for the Red Sea Reefer. Now, in the long run, I want to pick up a um, Aqua Illumination Narrow 5, which is very cool. You can connect it to your phone and kind of control every little aspect of how random the waves are and all of that. Um, I think it's pretty cool. It went on sale for $249 yesterday, but I just don't have the money to pick that up right now. Maybe in the future. But yeah. That's it for this video. It's just the two wave makers. You can see all of the particulates just randomly blowing about in there. But the real test is how everything is going to work when I have the rocks and the corals in there. See how everything works. My main goal is to have this tank as a bare bottom and the wave makers do its job with um, pushing all of the detritus up and onto the overflow and into the sump and kind of clear everything out so for the rest of the day i'm gonna refill as a test i'm just gonna fill the water back up to where it's enough to overflow and have all of this gunk overflow into the socks but yeah be sure to like comment and subscribe i'll have more videos coming up um I picked up a bunch of rocks and I'm going to decide how to scape everything and I'll go over the lighting and what I decided to use in the next coming videos. So I hope you guys have a great weekend and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.